Hello YouTube, today I'll be showing you my new Max Explorer V8. Yes, you probably will be wondering when I have an update. Instead of an update, it's not something new. It's based on the same program, but I haven't been bothering to update it, so I decided to upgrade it to V8. If you've looked at my website in the past, you said I said that I'd sell it. I was wrong. I'm not. It's very stupid of me to say that. I'm sorry that I said that. Um, it is going to be completely free like normal. Um, it's a bit faster. Um, you wouldn't believe it. You just wouldn't believe it. But I added, like, a list of pop-ups into a string collection. And I used a for statement to see if, in, when you navigate, if it has a URL. I'm waving my hands around, but no, you can't see that. But in that for statement, it's checking for a, for, like, add dot yield manager one that i happen to know by heart because there's a lot of them if it sees that web like that host or just in the url it'll instantly say, say at program status down there that there's an illegal pop-up blocked it will not show them unless you go to edit and stop pop-up blocker i'm pointing at it with my cursor and my finger. I don't know why I'm doing that. And there's also block all pop-ups. It's like for higher security reasons. Um, I also added a switch to default browser. For me, it's Internet Explorer. So let's say I'm doing a survey in, in case I really need it to connect because it may not connect on my web browser. I'm waving my and still I'm waving around my hands. I don't know why, but um, you you just click that and it'll go to it. It's pretty simple. I'm um, good for doing surveys for like bit.ly for you money makers. Um, bookmarks, I added this. Add, delete. It gets the current URL of the page, I think. I don't, I don't have any, though. Um, I, I fixed a little bit of the custom downloads. It's a bit more available with a couple more file types. Um, that's it for that. And, um, by the way, adding that pop-up, it took me hours, hours and hours and hours to format it so it would work on programming. You wouldn't believe what I had to go through. So, for all you minor things, if you want if you want the same list of me, which I got off a website on Yahoo, actually off this, I got it off on this web browser off a website. I just searched in, like, ad hosts and whatnot. But, um... If you want it for your web browser, just send a PM to me because I don't want you spent hitting backspace, backspace, backspace. I'm pretending to hit it now, but you still can't see me. What is wrong with me? Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, now let's zoom. Close up. Far away. Normal. Um... It's, uh, I haven't worked all yet, but, and the, I can't, if you haven't noticed this, no offense, but, oh my gosh, Max Explorer V8, new version, guys, um, I, uh, in case you guys have never known, it's a notify icon down here, I just want you guys to make sure, um, I'm working on, I'm thinking about making a new GUI, um, matter of fact, I have an idea. I got it off this thing when I was trying to get XBrowser 2.0 DLL, which I failed in doing, so pretty stupid me. But um, I downloaded this program as a demo off uh, Code Project. I studied it a bit, and from what I could tell, um, it's pretty... Oh, wait, this isn't it. Wrong thing. Uh, I have it somewhere on my desktop. Extended Web Browser 2. It's a really cool thing. Um... From this program that I decompiled and looked at the codes for, um, I learned what this control was. So, called a uh, list view. People search it up on YouTube. They're pretty damn cool. Uh, also, um, I kind of like this UR. It's really, really small and compact. Not nearly as many features in mine, but I think I like it. So, um, remember, download this, like it. Oh, one more thing. When you start it up at the beginning of your computer, it's going to say that there's an error because if uh, your your Microsoft database readers haven't started yet, I'm waving my hands around like crazy. But um, whatever you do, don't start this up within like 
30 seconds of starting, like logging into your account or starting up your computer because it'll just say errors. Now, it won't pop up like um, Windows has encountered an error. It'll say, um, it'll have a message box saying, error starting up. Yes to try again. No to cancel and show without favorite without uh custom button names and URLs. Basically without custom buttons. Um the since the history and favorites are backed up on settings it won't that's nothing to worry about. I'm planning to move that to a database soon because I figured out how to do it better with the list box. It just I wasn't doing it right. I was trying to manipulate it through code. Um I realized that you can just drag a text box down from the data sources but that's enough for tutorial. I'll see you later. Um, I'm glad I got to make this video, and I'm glad I'm not going crazy. Except I am waving my arms around. But uh, I'll see you later, and good.